This week, David Cameron took to the road to explain to people that things really were getting better, even if they couldn't feel it yet. Ed Miliband warned that his cost of living crisis would probably last right through the next parliament, whoever won the election. But it was all overshadowed when Culture Secretary Maria Miller quit in the affair surrounding her expenses. The Prime Minister embarked on a short tour of the regions to tell voters that the economy was still definitely growing and that he was creating thousands upon thousands of new jobs and things could only get better, unless, of course, they decided to let Labour ruin it all. However, he did recognise that Ed Miliband's cost-of-living crisis agenda had struck a chord with voters. He said people might not be feeling the recovery in their everyday lives just yet, but they would eventually. Meanwhile, Ed Miliband also hit the campaign trail, well, he went to Birmingham anyway, to slap down those people, including some in his own party, who think his cost-of-living crisis attack has run out of steam. They believe it's time he changed the record. He's having none of it, however, pointing out the crisis could well continue into the next parliament, and only One Nation Labour could put things right by ensuring the benefits of the recovery were shared by everyone. You thought the MP's expenses scandal was over? Well, you were wrong. And this week, it claimed the scalp of another minister in the shape of Culture Secretary Maria Miller. The MP's watchdog had ordered Miller to apologise in the Commons for overclaiming her expenses and then attempting to obstruct their investigation. So last week, she followed their instructions to the letter and won Shortest Apology of the Decade Award into the bargain. Blink and you missed it. Her 30-second statement not only failed to calm down the row over her behaviour, but made matters much worse. David Cameron stood by her until he didn't, as Tory ministers, MPs and, most importantly, the public expressed their dismay at her behaviour, Cameron woke up and smelt the coffee. Six days of support evaporated as he faced a public backlash, a bruising Commons question time and a meeting of his own MPs. And Miller was gone. And that's it for this week. To keep up with all the political news from Westminster, go to our website, ibtimes.co.uk.